When you want to create or maintain a line of show better, some basic knowledge on genetic variation and selection can be useful. Within all populations of organisms, some genetic variation exists. This variation results from random, heritable mutations which arise in the genome of an individual organism. The picture below shows the shells of mussels of the same species which all can interbreed. The differences in their shell patterns give an impression of the phenotypic variation in the population. When certain genetic variations play a key role in the survival of the population, we speak of natural selection. Natural selection depends on the genetic variation within a population and the interaction with the environment. Individuals within a population which are best adapted to certain environmental conditions will survive and reproduce. Examples are the camouflage of a zebra to be protected against predators, but also labyrinth fish being adapted to oxygen poor standing waters. Natural selection is the driving force behind evolution. The variation within the Betta splenens group results from natural selection and likely originated from a common ancestor due to geographical isolation. When selection is aimed to fix one or more traits within a population by human interference, we speak of artificial selection or selective breeding. One can think of selection towards a certain behavior in dogs, cows which produce more milk, but also the colors and tail types varieties we know today in our show bettas, and which to date are still expanding. As terms like inbreeding, line breeding and outcrossing go hand in hand with selective breeding, a better understanding of what these terms mean can be valuable knowledge. With the term inbreeding, we refer to close inbreeding, a systematic program of breeding closely related animals such as brother to sister and back crosses between parent and offspring. But what does inbreeding do on a genetic level? Inbreeding is aimed at fixating certain traits by increasing homozygosity. What is the advantage of inbreeding? Inbred animals will breed true for various traits due to an increased homozygosity. Inbreeding increases the uniformity within a line which makes it easier to predict the outcome. Further inbreeding will increase the chance to discover but also fix recessive traits. Disadvantage of inbreeding are the loss of genetic diversity and variety, which sometimes can make an organism less flexible to adjust to environmental factors. As inbreeding is often based on phenotypical selection, one can unintentionally fix unwanted traits, which can lead to a smaller size, slower growth or a greater susceptibility to disease. When these unwanted traits affect biological fitness and lead to a decreased fertility and viability, we speak of an inbreeding depression. Here you can see an example of inbreeding from my fish room, where I crossed two unrelated veal tails. Their offspring is called the first filial generation or F1. Intercrossing brother to sister from the F1 will lead to the second filial generation, F2. Crossing brother to sister from the F2 will lead to the third filial generation, F3 and further. Please note that the filial generation nomenclature can only be used in case of brother to sister crossings as it is derived from the Latin words referring to son and daughter. Here an example of what inbreeding by backcrossing would look like. The F1 offspring of two unrelated parents, in this example a male, will be crossed back to the mother. A female offspring of this cross then again is crossed back to the father, and this process can be repeated for multiple generations. The different generations here can be indicated by the abbreviation BC for backcross. Line breeding is a less intense form of inbreeding. Although the relation between the animals which are crossed is less close, they often have a common ancestor. Examples are crosses between half-siblings, uncle to niece, aunt to nephew, etc. Similar to close inbreeding, the advantage of line breeding is that it will increase homozygosity, leading to more uniform offspring. Another advantage of line breeding is that there is less risk of encountering the negative aspects associated with close inbreeding although the risk cannot be entirely neglected. Here you can see a relatively simple line breeding example from my own fish room. A cross between a yellow dragon and a silver copper gave me some nice copper red offspring in the first generation. In parallel I also crossed a silver copper male to a royal blue female from my own line, which gave me some nice metallic blue offspring. I decided to cross two siblings of the first pair together for the second generation, but also crossed an F1 brother to his metallic blue half-sibling. The fry I got from both spawns were crossed together again. Outcrossing refers to breeding two unrelated strains together. Although this often is the start of many new breeding experiments, it can also be applied further down the line. 
for Y outcrossing. Regular outcrossing will increase the genetic variability or the heterozygosity within a line. This increase in genetic variability can be a big advantage in order to improve certain traits. Disadvantages of outcrossing are the chance of losing fixed traits, more difficulty to predict the outcome, and the risk of introducing unwanted traits into a line. When breeders outcross, they often do this in parallel to the original line. In this outcrossing example, you see my veal tail line, which was inbred up to the third generation in my fish room. Although most males showed a pretty good form, the finish of the females could be better. I decided to outcross to a female from a line with better finish and continued the line by inbreeding in an attempt to fix the traits I wanted to see. But when to choose for which option when working your lines? Personally, I do not use the fixed program, but a combination of inbreeding, line breeding and regular outcrossing depending on the phenotype of my fish and the available options. Here, working with parallel lines, good observation and administration play a crucial role. I hope this video gave you some insight in genetic variation and selection, inbreeding, line breeding and outcrossing. In order to stay tuned for more, please subscribe to my channel.